ChatGPT, write me a trading algorithm to make me rich. Today, we are going to use ChatGPT to help us make us some passive income, some money overall, right? That's what we want. That's what ChatGPT was made for, nothing else, just to make me money. So for this, we are going to do a couple of things. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So we are going to use a couple of things in this video. We are going to use ChatGPT, yes. We are going to use TradingView and we are going to use Pinex, a crypto centralized exchange. What we are going to do we are going to ask ChatGPT to make us a trading bot so we can make money passively in our sleep when we're at work if we're unfortunately have to spend time with our other half or anything of that nature. So let's get to it. And just before we start, just one point, don't feel afraid of what you're going to see because I know nothing about coding or anything. I'm just doing what ChatGPT gives me and I throw it somewhere for it to do things for me. That's what I'm doing. It's literally doing it for me. It's on autopilot. Everything is going to be on autopilot. That's what AI is. So if we go over to Pinex here, this is just the homepage. And, you know, Pinex, feel free to reach out if you want to sponsor me in future because this is not paid. I'm not being paid for this. I'm just doing it because I want to let you guys know. Because someone told me about this and I had no idea. And then once you get to know it, you start to get more familiar with it, right? So this is the homepage. We go to more and then we go to Pinex GPT. Go here. And it's literally an integrated version of ChatGPT. And what's good about this is you can actually use it to sort of help you build a strategy or just a, to trade. And if you watch my videos about a year ago or so, roughly about that, you will see that I did videos about how to create a trading bot. And it was not very successful. The series sort of failed because I found it a bit too advanced and complicated at that time. It still is. But the point is, this is a far more easier approach and method to do it. So that's why I thought I would do another one. Someone told me about Pinex actually has it integrated. I didn't even know that. So very beneficial for everyone involved. So very beneficial if, if that's something you have in mind to do. And of course, we are going to be using TradingView to help um, implement implement some of the signals for our trading bot with Pine Editor here. And because of the times right now with Bitcoin itself and how you know we, we are seeing the momentum go higher, and, we're, and of course, when things happen in the news, the momentum goes lower. So we are going to be using momentum in this as part as part of our strategy. So we're going to ask, we're just going to say, give me a momentum strategy on Big Daddy Bitcoin. And of course, I need to sign up before I even do this. And of course, because I'm in the UK, I can't even bloody use Pinex. This is what I get. UK IPs can't use it. So we're going to be using, because we're now on Bybit, and my IP is, again, a UK IP. We're not going to be able to use Bybit. However, I'm already getting impatient. So we're going to use a VPN. I recommend Touch VPN. And there we are. We're now in Germany. So, log in. Change of plan completely because I cannot access any of this with my IP address. Thank you so much, UK government. You are amazing. This is why I vote for UK for death. Change of plan. We are now going to be using just ChatGPT and then we're going to I'm going to show you how you can implement it properly with an exchange. The UK is not okay. For anyone thinking to come to the UK or, or to live here, don't. It's a bloody nightmare. Let us finally begin. Give me a momentum strategy on Bitcoin. Okay, it's told me that. Write me a Bitcoin momentum algorithm. Here we go. And that is the code we will, I guess, use. I'm going to briefly look over it. So it's written us a piece of code for our trading bot algorithm. Writing a complete Bitcoin momentum trading algorithm in a single response is a complex task as it involves coding, data analysis, and risk management. However, I can provide you with a high level outline of what a simple momentum based trading algorithm might look like in Python. You'll need to use a development environment, data sources and libraries to implement it. Keep in mind that this is a simplified example and does not cover all aspects of a production ready trading algorithm. Then it's given us our code and it says this code is a starting point and does not include actual trading or risk management functions. In practice, you would need to integrate with a cryptocurrency exchanges API for executing trades, implement risk management and continuously monitor and adjust the algorithm. Please be aware that trading cryptocurrencies is risky, blah, blah, blah. So then we have our simple piece of code. So because I am in the UK and this is, I have myself complete, almost 100% restrictions on this to implement this into Pinex or Bybit. Those are the two I would do it on because they have more flexibility in terms of trading bots. 
And if you're not happy with the ones you've created or you feel that the one you've done on ChatGPT is just a load of rubbish and just a pile of gobbledygook, you can go on ChatGPT, you can go on GPT Marketplace and here you can see all different ones that people have created and you can use them with your own strategy and what you actually intend to do. And what's good about this is it's almost like a, a package done for you so you know what you're doing, you know what you want but you have more confidence in using sort of someone else's that they know and you can see the results on like here you can see how well it's performed and like this one for example has done over in the space of a year roi it's done a thousand and fifty nine percent and now there, there are as you can see this one's free this one's free there are ones where like this one if you use their algorithm you do get they get 30 percent of the profits so if we go to another one let's just say let's just say this one let's just go back to this one for example so this one, it does give a full on description of what this is and you can subscribe to it and it does give you sort of that testing data so you can figure out which one would work for you. And then you can choose to subscribe to it. Of course, you need to sign in to do it. And then you can choose what you want to do with it, implement it to your trades. And almost from there, you can just copy trade it and then they can just take a, you know, a slice of what profits you earn and then go from there. That's one option, of course, if you don't want to go down the route of just using your own code. But say, but say you want to just do it yourself and you want to carry on with what you were doing. So almost from now, what you can do is when you have got your with whatever you decided to do and you wanted to just use your own, you can go back to ChatGPT and then you can say, how do I implement this code to trading view? Now it says, and just like I mentioned before, it gives you an overall sort of description of what TradingView is, um, and it has its own scripting language called PineScript. To implement a trading strategy similar to the one described earlier in TradingView, this is the one we did, that's the earlier one, um, you need to use PineScript. Here's a simplified example of how you can adapt the momentum strategy to TradingView. So what you would do is you would copy all this, copy code. You would then go to, you would then go back to TradingView. This is your PineScript editor. You would then paste the code in. That's your code that you've got from ChatGPT. And then what you want to do to see it sort of in action, you could say is add to chart. And because I'm a cheapskate and I don't have a membership with TradingView, I can't sign up to this. I'm just doing this for educational purposes so you can perhaps implement this with your strategy. But what you can do, what you, I'll show you what it essentially looks like. This is what it looks like when you, you add this code to your chart. I'll show you an example now. What this shows is the actual signals being implemented into the chart. So as you can see, so when you see the momentum go up, it triggers a, triggers a buy signal. Because it signaled the momentum here, it starts the buy action. And then because it's gone back underneath moving average, it then starts to use, it starts to implement the sell signals, right? And that's how you implement it to the trading view chart. But what this essentially is doing is it's picking up the trends when the trends do get identified. And it's very, it can be used greatly in times like this when we're expecting the Bitcoin ETFs to get approved or not, say. So when there's pieces of sort of like bullish news that comes out, such as this, so that what we're going through currently in late October, you, you will see more buy signals on sort of algorithms like this. This is a live action sort of algorithm if, it, if I had the actual thing up. <laughs> but, and then the same with if there's bad news or just the trend goes down or people are a bit more bearish, then the sell signal starts to appear as you can see that and that's when those signals come into play. And because this is implemented, you don't have to just sit on your computer or laptop all day trying to see and figure out where the points of buying and selling are you've got the you've got the algorithm in place for you already and then what you can do as well once you realize that this is clearly a signal for buying and selling uh, this is the new buy signal this this right here is the new buy signal based on this downward trend this momentum trend is going down for selling it's then picked back up once these lines cross and that's when the signal gets executed for the algorithm that's the signal so you, you can back test this if you just change the settings if you change the times up here you can you know go back in time to see how it looks and to see the signals in live action and then of course you can change the um you can change the metrics as well the numbers to more of an appropriate time scale what you can do as well is it, what once if you have a membership with training view you can go on strategy chester here and once you've applied the the um the pine script to the chart you can go on strategy tester here and then you can change the settings based on like for example if you've got capital of like ten thousand dollars or whatever and you change each trade to like a hundred dollars you can see how well it performs back test wise and you can actually see how well it performs and whether or not it's a good strategy to implement into your trades and what it shows you as well it shows you how much profit you potentially could have made if you use that strategy 
It can tell you how many trades were executed during that time. It can tell you as well how much of a percentage of your portfolio was gone into those trades as well. There's a lot of data it can give you when you set the backtesting settings to a, that appropriate time length and with how much capital you put in. And it can, based on each trade as well, it can tell you how many were successful and how many losing trades there were. It just it just shows you how how it would turn out based on your bot, your algorithm. The way you would integrate this, this is the sort of like the, the end of how it works, is on this strategy tester, you can set up signals to your exchange. So an exchange such as Pinex or Bybit, where it does allow you to put in signals from TradingView, um, you can send signals directly to the exchange to execute trades, right? I don't... <laughs> I do apologize that I'm not showing live examples, but this is just, just to sh tell you how it sort of works. But you, like I said, you do need a paid subscription for TradingView to send those signals across, or you can do it manually if you're really sharp, but pff, you have to be super fast, especially to, especially with how volatile crypto is. And it would give you, what it, do, what it shows, what it does show you, it shows you the webhook URL, and it would be under, when you go to create a trading bot, it would be under signal bots because there are obviously so many different bots like there's grid trading bots there's, there's so many but you would choose a signal trading bot and then in there you can apply that webhook url it is within the name right so once there's a signal on trading view the signal trading bot on pinex or bybit would start those trades based on those signals because it's called a signal bot i know it's in the name right so the, the way it would work is when you go to your exchange and then you set up that signal bot. You would set up a signal bot, the bot you would set up in Bybit or Pinex, depending on what one you choose. Um, there's probably others, but I'm not aware of them. You would then grab the webhook URL from the exchange and you would then copy that. You would copy the URL and you would then you would then go back to here, TradingView, and then you would set up the webhook URL to correlate and correspond with your exchange. You, of course, have to allow access to these things in TradingView before any of this can be sort of initiated but once that's done there will be like a window here where it, uh, it asks you for your webhook url you then just paste it from your exchange so you would get it you would get it from pinex when you set up the um the trading bot and if if your exchange doesn't have the more lenient exchanges do then if it doesn't have it there's always another one out there there's always another exchange out there that will benefit more than others but yeah if you want if you want to do that you will have to have a paid subscription for TradingView to be able to implement that into your exchange because they do send you signals via sms or email and it's just it's a paid service right you're paying for that just like anything subscription nothing is free and then once you're happy with everything then on your on the exchange you would start to create it choose your pair that you want to pair it with your parameters and everything like that and then just create it. It's it's then it's live. But I would recommend with this because it's if it's brand new to you, like completely new, I would start with a very small amount, even something really small that you're not even used to, just just to get more familiar with how these automated AI algorithms work and how you when you just to see the results, see how it plays out. Because you, you you don't want to come back like the next day and you've lost all your money, right? <laughs> something went wrong. In that, in that algorithm if you've lost all your money. But then when things, you know, you see the results, you see what's going on, you get more familiar with it, then then I would say put a bit more in that you're more comfortable with. You can see how it works. Just like anything, trial and error. With that, ChatGPT has made you a trading bot, passive income, and you can go out with your other half, go do whatever you want with them, play video games, be responsible, be a responsible adult, or if you don't have a wife, or you don't have a partner, then you've just saved yourself more money to trade with more. Because why go out and waste your money on someone else? Yeah, there we have it. All done. That's the video. Of course, I wasn't able to show you it firsthand, but I've given you the fundamentals. That is more or less all these trading bot, all these trading bot projects. This is all it. This is all they apparently are doing. Even though most of them are scams. Just bloody make one on ChatGPT. That's your trading bot. I don't know how. I don't know why they're just saying they haven't got one. And that's ChatGPT. You can. You. It's. It's. The. The limits are endless, right? You can just go and just create anything. <laughs> I just created a trading bot. So I hope it's been informative. I try, I try my best. I really do try. Even though it doesn't look like it, I do try. Somewhat. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't really care. No, I, I do care. I'm kidding. There's just some takeaway points like how amazing AI is. We've created a customized bot 
and it is custom because I told it to do it. I gave my specific requirements. And if I wanted to make it even more custom, I could change the SMA. I could change the all these all these different things. Change X Y Z, and it will do it for me. Like it's completely customized. And if I really wanted, I could make ChatGPT write me a script for YouTube videos. That's how bonkers this AI is. Look, for example, I'm not. This is not scripted, of course. The amount I waffle, but look. Check this out. R write me a YouTube video script about crypto trading, right? Look at this, the title of the video. <laughs> That's crazy. See, so it's, it's gone into a whole script almost. Oh, no, no, it is a it is a script. Host, welcome back. That's what I say. So yeah, it can do anything for you. That's the that's the, that's the power of Chat GPT and AI. It's incredible, and we do take it for advantage in a way. We do take it for granted in a way because we're so used. To, we're already used to this. This is this is like our new Google. We got so used to Google. This is like another Google, right? This is just in its own AI form. It's mad how powerful this stuff is so we've done that we've created our bot and it's going to hopefully save you some money some time it's going to definitely save you time and it should save you some money because it, it executes these these signals it's a wonderful thing it's a wonderful wonderful thing i mean this this is unheard of five years ago we weren't able to do this we were not able to do this five years ago how crazy is that five years and because because crypto is so volatile it does you can take advantage of that if you think outside the box rather than just buy and sell like if, we're, if we're in a market where we, we know we're gonna be moving sideways like most of the time bitcoin moves because moves sideways you can really take advantage of that just with a different strategy you tell it to do something else now like i said if you are if you're not comfortable with it and you don't know what you're doing on chat gpt then you can go to that marketplace that I was going over and you can have a gander at these because these are obviously proven and they have some backtesting profits on them so do take a look at that but overall that should give you an overall sort of foundation of how to do this I mean I, I haven't even done it on this video but it's I set up how you do it right and it's not difficult if you if you listen to what I was saying and do you follow through you you get it it's it's clicked in your mind. So that is how you make money using ChatGPT. There's many more ways you can do. I'm sure I'll do another video on something else, but this is the most obvious and it's the most saturated in a way because look at all this. This is saturation right here. So I hope that's helped. If it has, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, see you on the next one.